Christie. Here now to hash through this whole Beal deal, we have Keith Boykin, he's former Clinton White House aide. Tony Katz is a Tea Party supporter and radio talk show host. And Heather Higgins, independent women's forum chairman. Heather Higgins, I just want to ask you what you think about uh, Obama coming out in favor of same-sex marriage. Is this a distraction from the economic issues or what, Heather? What do you think? Absolutely. Um, Obama coming out of the closet is non-news. Everybody knew there was always a wink and a nod that this was where he was and he was only doing, saying for political reasons that he was on the other side of the issue. He's very much hoping that Romney takes the bait. He's also hoping to make his uh, deep-pocketed, extreme left-wing of his base very, very happy with this issue. Um, and so it's a, a political dodge. It's about avoiding economic issues, which is really what this is about. You bet. By the way, Senator Jim DeMint, later in the show, when we talked, he says exactly what you said. It's very interesting. Keith Boykin, you know what? Mitt Romney's much smarter than your man on this, Keith, because Romney <laughs> today just said it's a state issue. And that's what Dick Cheney said not so long ago. It's a state issue, Keith. Why didn't Obama just leave it there? Obama said the same thing. It is a state issue. He's just expressing his personal opinion, and his personal opinion has evolved to the point where he now believes same-sex marriage is something that should be allowed. But look, you know, Larry, I don't think this is an issue that's going to hurt the president in the election. 57% of the independents who've been polled recently show that they support same-sex marriage. I don't think that that's going to affect them in the swing states. I think people are, as you said, focused on the economy for the election, and those are the issues that are going to actually help Barack right. Obama. Now you're cooking, Keith Boykin. Now but you're cooking. I... Now, uh, go ahead, Heather, real quick. Can I just jump in on this? It's really interesting that he does this the day after North Carolina, right. where if you right. look at where that vote came from, it came from the black community. And it just is a real testament because the part of the, I mean, part of the report mentioned some of the communities that oppose gay marriage, but really a lot of it's the Hispanic and the black communities. And to so deliberately go in their face shows how much he no, takes no, them no, for no, granted. No, I, I have to correct you on this, Heather. I've studied this issue for quite, quite some time. I tell you, there's not a single vote, not a single time, any time in the past 20 years, where any black elected official has ever lost office for supporting same-sex marriage. You can go back any time. There's no example that that's it's not, not going to happen in this case. That's probably because there are not very many that's of them who have done so. Uh, if you no, look at who Deval, turned Deval out in California and on Proposition 8, etc. That's, Deval, that's Deval Patrick in Massachusetts. That's David, probably. Patterson in, in David Patterson here in New York. Look at Cory Booker in New Jersey. There's tons of examples. You know, when if your examples are going to be from northeast right, states, you're not exactly speaking to the rest of the country. Can the voice of reason speak here? Yeah, you got a lot of black ministers by the way, who oppose gay marriage. I'm going to leave. Look, I'm a live and let live guy. It is a state issue. I want to get my friend Tony Katz in here. <laughs> Tony, as a Tea Party guy, which is why right. we recruited you, and I thank you for coming on the show, give me a whack at the gay marriage issue before we go to the Tea Party. It's not a Tea Party issue per se, but Keith is right in one respect. It doesn't do anything for the president. He still can't win re-election. And when you talk about <laughs> the constituencies you're talking about, which is Hispanic and, and black constituencies, we're not talking about people running for office. We're talking about people who have a cultural belief and a religious belief to which this goes against. All but right. the real issues are the economy. The real issue uh, is the 535 million to Solyndra and thoughts. the death of Brian Terry. Hold, hold those thoughts. Hold those thoughts. Stay with us. The other big story tonight, angry voters took out their fury over the president and the economy.